use it as secondary pitches. And got to run that heater on the hands to make those secondary pitches successful. He will try to cool off. And the count is a ball and no strikes to Cedric Mullins, who had a couple of big hits yesterday in each of his last two plate appearances. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Cedric Mullins. Boy, over through his two or three pitches so far today. And pours a fastball in for a strike. Team. And allowed five earned runs on eight hits in his five innings. A lot of deep counts in that game. Double. Patrick Sandoval with his great stuff goes to that level every single time. Comes back after being behind 3 and 0 to strike. It. Throw a changeup to finish the at bat. Here's Trey Mancini now who had a really big day yesterday. End of the time in a two strike count this year. Great Missed with it that yeah. time. One two pitch. He went on a slider. Yeah, Mancini just could not hold up. I mean, that's a slider at his feet. Starts him with a fastball. Castle that swings at that first pitch a lot. That all speed pitch, first pitch is not necessarily a good one against him. Batters in five innings, and there are four guys in the lineup today for Brandon Hyde that were not in the lineup. Yep. And Patrick Sandoval strikes out the side to begin the afternoon. All game over here. <laughs> he said I was sitting with my other son Kyle, and I looked at him as he snaps that one into left field for a base hit. But he looked at his other son Kyle, and he told him, "Man, I'm glad I'm not in the dugout right now." He said. To bring up Austin Hayes now, one for seven in the series. Sandoval struck out the side to begin the afternoon. Better than 15 percent of his plate appearances this year. Have lasted exactly one pit. First pitch swings aren't for everybody. That should be a double play ball. Ren Hifo to Stefanik. As routine as it gets, two away in the set. Three run winning rally in the last of the ninth. It's amazing how popular he is already. Yep. That's something that Matt Wise has spent a lot of time. Kind of putting Patrick Sandoval on that that trail to be a great pitcher now at the major league level. And his tell beast, his use of the sinker has been an important component in all that under the tutelage of Matt Wise. Rutschman batting with two out and the base is empty early in a scoreless game. Is the addition to the sinker. That was the one, and that was a good pitch. That was the 3 2. Stayed a little flat, but it still does the job as Renhifo plays the without the notice of the coaching staff, and Erica has more on that. Yeah, guys, by the way, Reed said the last time he hadn't pitched on his birthday was when he was. Next thing that recognized the mechanical adjustments, but it was a group effort to really get that slider back. He talked about the arm slot. Well, that's how he described to me his outing last night. He said he felt back to normal, and he's looking forward to more success. Ramon Urias takes a pitch to deep center field that Proud has to run down half as well. And as Erica points out, uh, the fact that Matt Wise was the one that identified a lot of that stuff and, and put a plan in place, it all worked out yesterday for Detmers. Really something to build on for Reed moving forward. To feel normal and finish pitches like that, that's the kind of pitcher that I envisioned and everyone envisioned Reed Detmers being going forward. He has thrown a no hitter. Already the square just turned 23 last night, which is incredible. Abdur started the ninth inning rally yesterday. No rally started in this at bat as he strikes out. Baltimore does have a hit today, but Sandoval, with the help of a double play ball, is working. He can't even watch this. As you know that anytime as a parent you're watching your your two balls and two strikes to Tyler now bottom of the third in a scoreless ball game and Nevins aboard with the base hit was that a change up change that didn't up. bite yeah didn't quite get the chase change up 
So back to the top of the order Cedric Mullins now second hit of the game for Baltimore on the first pitch to Mullins a bouncer for Walsh to retire the the way that home run would not have been a home run in today's Camden Yards. <laughs> There's no question about that. What a shame that Park a scoreless game here so far. Bottom half of inning number four for Trey Mancini followed by Mount Castle and during his playing career some of the notable baseball Babylon that he was a part of team. Had nothing to do with the incident but he was a member of the team. Mancini a strikeout victim back in the first and it's a full count to him here in the fourth. And we got to chase that. Go back to it again. Another 3 2 pitch to Trey Mancini on its way. Puts this one in play for VR. And there's one out to start the bottom of the pack in first pitch, Mountcastle. Also a strikeout victim in his first try. First pitch swing yields a base hit this time. Love watching him swing the bat. He had big years here in Baltimore. It's a timely little demo, right? A guy that will always claim as an angel, but big years in Baltimore, including a season in which he led all of baseball with Boyle's Hall of Fame building in left field. That is way out there. That one bounces away from Suzuki, and it's a free 90 feet for Mountcastle on a wild pitch. Third wild pitch of the season for Port here, where you had an opportunity to use the fastball more. You got to go with your number one and number two pitches to get out. Santander lines that into left. Mountcastle's going to come around to score the first run of the game. One now. Slider. And a ball that's just fouled. Base has been a real problem for the Halos. 0 oh 2 the count to Austin Hayes. Get ahead of Hayes. What does Patrick have on 0 oh 2? Here it is. Got him to fish on a change. Great pitch. That good of a pitch. I mean, it's that good that it, I think every opponent knows. He still has a slider to get a chase. Once he has a better feel, more. It's been good. Three balls and no strikes to act. Three balls and no strikes. A run in with two away and a man at first, and it turns into a four pitch walk, and not the worst thing. Not afford to fall any further behind. Try to get through this with this one run allowed. That walk was the first of the game. Patrick in front, 0 and 1. 0 and 2 now, the count to Ramon Urias. The two pitches we were just talking about slider, then changeup. Exactly what happens. It was a strike, but it does the one. Brandon Marsh. To bat second behind Rugnet Odor, and then it's the top of the order. Cedric Mar base running. We've seen that throughout this for Brandon Marsh, but Shohei Otani up. You're in scoring position at second. Back at it, he'll say, "You know what? I should have stayed right at second. Got him again. If he threw anything but a slider, I would have been shocked at that next bit. Keep the tag on Brandon Marsh at third base. Tyler had a base hit back in the third. Came with going through some of the father versus son, manager versus player combinations earlier in the series, and it remains really unusual. And there have only been a handful of them. What well, is such a good changeup? Eight. I think Phil would be a terrible poker player because he's too honest. Right? He's, That's a he's pretty forthcoming. Yeah. Oh, and one the count to Cedric Mullins. He lifts a fly ball out to left. Marsh is on the move near the line to retire the side. They go away in order for enough to get chases, but he does because of that spin he gets on the slider and nasty down and away on his change. He's got a uh, chase percentage today. Trey Mancini lines to left. 
And that's his first base hit of the game. Runs a modest hitting streak to eight. And he's aboard to start. You owe me five bucks. Okay. He was always hacking early, too. Was he? Yeah. Is he watching today? Usually we'll check in with us. He hasn't said anything yet, though. Kind of. Well. Ball and a strike to count to Mountcastle. What's the uh, fastball out of the zone? Or a changeup? Anthony Santander, who has singled twice against him today. You know, Mark Kotze, manager for the. So, my next question to you then is what all the ancillary numbers do, including that strikeout percentage, whiff percentage. Santander sends a drive out to right center field. Ward and Trout are back there. Ward makes the catch at the wall. And exhale. Two. And it is. <laughs> that. And who uh, Dusty Baker decides he wants to take with him. And, and the rest of those, you know, sometimes the reason borderline candidate in Detroit. So we know Shohei Otani's going there as a starting D8. Sandoval a strike away from a double digit punch out afternoon. He's got an ERA in the two. 2-2. Two, two. And that's a foul ball, not by much. Bottom of the sixth. He got him. Ten strikeouts on the afternoon for Piacino Dor. And Patrick Sandoval, who's only 84 pitches deep into his start, is back out there for his most pitches he has thrown in the game this season is 101. Patrick Sandoval. Two balls and no strikes to Rutschman. 3 0 now. Three and one. It fell behind. It was a Odor 3 0. Came back for a strikeout. Has to come back, especially with bullpen up. Full count now. From 3 0 to a full count, and here's the payoff pitch home. And Rutschman was in swing mode. That was ball four. That was a different type of action on this changeup, too. That had cutting. The next 3 2 pitch home. And on the appeal, they say that Rutschman held up. Reached when it happened in the sixth. Sandoval retired the next three batters in order. And now it's Ramon Uria. And Urias gets in front 2 0. So this plate appearance starting out in similar fashion as to the. Two balls and a strike. Helped him out. He swung it back. In a row. They're home later tonight with Toronto. That could be a pair. Stefanik to Renhifo. Yeah, only the one out.